Hi, day traders. The US Federal Reserve is widely expected to pause its cycle of monetary tightening. However, some macroeconomic reports suggest that the regulator may have to continue to raise rates. This is what causes swings in the market sentiment. Yet, the easing of the US dollar suggests that the market participants still bet on a slowdown in the rate hiking cycle. Last week, the US dollar index, which demonstrates the value of the US dollar against the basket of six major currencies, lost 0.54%. The dollar made an attempt to win back some of its losses on Friday, but still stayed near its yearly lows. At the close of the week, the report from the University of Michigan revealed that consumer sentiment had suddenly improved. At the same time, inflation reports and their latest Fed minutes suggest that the U.S. central bank is unlikely to halt their rate hike. So, markets expect the Fed to raise the rate by 25 basis points in May and then to start cutting rates in July through the end of the year. Expectations of a dovish turn in the Fed's policy supported the euro. The European Central Bank, unlike its American counterpart, is getting more aggressive and is set to introduce two more rate hikes of 25 basis points. The European regulator is determined to maintain its hawkish stance even despite slow inflation that has reached a 13-month low. Yet the inflation rate is still far from the ECB target of 2%. Trading against the US dollar last week, the euro hit the mark of 1.1050, its highest level this year. Meanwhile, the British pound has almost hit a yearly high against the greenback, but failed to stay there for long. The reason for this was weak macroeconomic data from the UK. Inflation is still running above 10% on a yearly basis, despite a series of consecutive rate hikes by the Bank of England. The central bank officials say they intend to continue the tightening cycle, but this information seems to have little effect on the markets. In the meantime, the Bank of Japan is also determined to maintain its current monetary policy. For your reference, the Japanese regulator is the only one among major central banks that hasn't raised the rate yet. Its rhetoric stayed the same even when the new governor took office. Katsuo Ueda, the new governor of Bank of Japan, confirmed he would maintain the bank's ultra-loose monetary policy. He is sure that this will bring inflation down to the target level of 2%. Notably, the International Monetary Fund said that such an approach was a positive example which could help prevent abrupt policy changes by other global central banks. In the course of the previous week, gold was trading moderately higher than, but then returned to the opening levels on Friday. Yet, the precious metal has a good chance to return to previous highs. Central banks all over the world are gradually changing their policies, thus following the Bank of Canada, the Reserve Bank of Australia, South Korea and India, as well as the Central Bank of Singapore, also refrained from raising the rate. Such sentiment makes gold more attractive to investors. Oil traders also closed last week with gains. Brent crude advanced to a January high of $86 per barrel, supported by a weaker U.S. dollar and the possible risks of supply shortages. Market participants are still digesting their news about the OPEC Plus decision to cut production by 1.16 million barrels per day starting in May. This step was taken in anticipation of lower energy demand amid a global economic slowdown. These are the trends of the last trading week. Do not miss our daily news reports and weekly reviews to be always in touch with the latest events. See you!